going on guys? Jason with Archangel Ministries again. I know I'm running behind on videos. Is what it is. Hopefully I'll be able to do some of the knife and firearm videos when I'm off this upcoming weekend. But uh, we'll see what happens. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up because... Well, there's a lot of stuff going on, and, you know, sitting here at work tonight. Sorry, a lot going on. But I was sitting here at work tonight, you know, man in my post, and forgot that I completely neglected to uh, touch on a subject that's vitally important to uh, situational awareness. And that is trusting your instincts. Yeah. Most people don't understand it, but we were created. We're not just a physical being, we're also a spiritual being. And, you know, God endowed us with an innate ability to sense when danger is around us or when it's near. You know, and that's one of the most important things about situational awareness. You know, some people call it paranoia, I call that foolishness. You know, I mean, uh, just because I'm paranoid don't mean people ain't following me. You know, uh, there's a lot that goes on in the world. For example, right now in a lot of the major cities, even here in Memphis, it's gotten to the point to where you have thugs. And not always thugs. Sometimes or these are people just trying to provide for their family and they ain't got no money left. So what do they resort to? They resort to crime. But they're holding up women and innocent old ladies and older couples when they're leaving the grocery store with their groceries and stuff at gunpoint and stealing the food these people just bought. You know, it's getting dangerous out there. And you can't afford to not be on your guard. Call it paranoia if you want to, but I'd rather have someone with me paranoid and me be on alert to prevent something like that from happening than for me to go along with my life tra la 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 and be caught off guard. Out of step, wrong place, wrong time. You know? That's never good. And those situations can end very, very badly. You know, people never consider that fact. So anytime you're at one of these places, anytime you go to the grocery store, now, you're going to have to be on point. You're going to have to be on guard because things are getting worse. It's like I said in the other videos, you can sense the change in the air, the fear, the panic that a lot of these people have. You know, their funds are running out, and if the government's talking about they're not going to get any kind of relief check for uh, 20 weeks, dude, that's a third of the year. It's almost half a year. You know? That's a lot of months. How these people that ain't got no money and the states are broke and can't afford to pay for their uh, unemployment fees and stuff, how are they going to live? What do you think they're going to resort to? They're going to start rioting. They're already starting to rob people. I had to stop a robbery on post here last weekend. is what it is. You can't afford to be walking around with your head stuck in the sand anymore. Cognitive dissonance and uh, normalcy bias aren't going to save you. It's simply not going to happen. So, when you go to these places, I don't care if you're stopping off at the grocery store, gas station, what have you. First thing you do when you get out of the car, actually before you even get out of the car, first thing you do when you park, you look around, you check your six, you do a 360 around your entire vehicle. Look for anything that's out of place. Anything. And trust your instincts. I didn't say listen to fear, I said trust your instincts. If something in your spirit is telling you that something's not right, 
trust that and go with it. Take precautions accordingly. All right. Now, as far as updates go, still working on the ministry. I'd appreciate everybody's prayers because we're bidding for a new contract right now. And I know everybody's hurting. I get it. But I would ask that you guys would keep us in prayer about securing this contract so we can afford to not only provide for our families, but be able to have the funds we need to keep the ministry going during these hard times. You know, Lord's work still needs to be done. There's still cases and stuff that we need to work. There's still innocent people out there that are at the hands of these monsters and they need to be dealt with. If we get this contract, we'll be able to do a lot more in that area. So, I'm asking for your prayers in that. Also, we're going to set it up where uh, I'm going to start offering consultation, security consultation. So there's a lot of people that have just bought firearms and stuff like that, you know, fear buying, panic buying. One, they have no idea how to use them, they haven't been trained properly. And two, they have no idea what it actually takes to secure their home. You know, I'm not sure how we're going to do this just yet as far as, you know, payment or, you know, doing it out of ministry or whatnot. We're, we're working on that. We're trying to iron out the details. But uh, upcoming soon, we are going to be offering security consultation for individuals, for your family, so you can watch over and protect your establishment, you know, and your state, whatever else you have there. Also... My wife is getting ready to do either a live stream or at least a few YouTube videos posted under the Archangel channel. We're not sure exactly which one just yet, but uh, it's going to be offering training and the type of training that any of the girls out there that want to get involved with doing this type ministry work, you need to know this stuff. So any of you people watching this, you know, uh, do me a favor. If you yourself are one of the girls that are interested in doing this type of outreach or you know someone that is, please go over to our Facebook page. All right. All you got to do is search in the little search thing, you know, on Facebook at Archangel Ministries 22. It'll pop us right up. You know, we're the only one in Memphis. So there you go. Uh, please head over there. Message us. Comment. Let us know that you're interested so we can figure out when, where, and how we are going to get this stuff set up and put out. Okay, that covers the good stuff, the basic stuff, and uh, yeah, like I said, I know I've been promising y'all videos as far as blades and guns and basic firearms, that kind of stuff goes. They're coming. Been so busy on these contracts, I really haven't had time, but I'm working on it. So hopefully... I'll be able to shoot a couple of those videos Sunday or Monday and have them posted up on the channel hopefully Tuesday. And eventually we will get into room clearing and stuff like that. And oh, before I forget, my good friend Nathan Reynolds has agreed to do a program with me. Uh, subject is going to be on the cost of killing. You know, we're going to cover a lot of awesome stuff on there. Uh, we're working out the details on when we're going to do the program, but hopefully I'm hoping for this next week. Uh, so stay tuned. It's going to be awesome. I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. And I think that about covers it. I'm out.